Her of the two teenagers last Christmas at Lake Herman and the girl on the 4th of July. I want you to print this cipher on the front page of your paper. He wants his code in the afternoon edition. Ray Smith, don't you have a cartoon to finish? The Zodiac Killer has... The Zodiac Killer inspired this 2007 movie, books, and countless articles, and websites. 43 years ago this week, the first two victims of the infamous Zodiac made news across the country. A teenage couple gunned down while parked at a Northern California lover's lane. The Zodiac claimed 37 murders and taunting letters to newspapers in the late 1960s and early 70s, yet investigators agree on only seven confirmed victims, five of which died. So who was or is the Zodiac killer? There were suspects, but no one was ever charged. It's a question UM St. Louis professor Thomas Horan would like to answer in this new year, and he joins us to discuss his research. Good morning. Morning, John. Thanks for having me. Thomas, first of all, tell us, you're in the business school, correct? You teach business classes? Well, I'm in the English department. I, okay. te I teach business writing, and I also teach composition and literature at a couple of other colleges part-time. So. so this started out, you were looking at the Zodiac Killer years ago and thinking, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to debunk all this as maybe a, a series of killers, and, and you didn't believe in it, that there was one person. Well, actually, I started studying the letters as literature. Whoever wrote these letters created one of the most compelling characters of the 20th century. And as a writer and critic, I was fascinated how this was done. As I studied the letters in great detail and the contents of the letters, and I had a chance to see some case information that's not been widely published, I came to the conclusion that the letters were probably a hoax. Um, some of the investigators at the time also thought so. So I built up this profile of a person who may have been likely to do a thing like that, had a very short list of suspects, looked at one of these suspects, came across uh, some samples of his handprinting, and looked to me like a complete dead match for the handprinting on those Zodiac letters. Um, I looked a little further, found what looks like corroborating evidence. Uh, I've turned this over to investigators in the Bay Area. Um, one of them confirmed to me yesterday it looks intriguing. Once more information, I'll be contacting him probably today with the name of the suspect and where the investigators can find this information for themselves. This individual, who you do not want to name at this point, right. still living? As far as I know, this person's still alive. This person would be, what, in their 70s now? Uh, this person would be close to 80. Hmm. Hmm. And uh, a very intelligent person in, in, a, in a very sadistic way? I think that this person probably had an accomplice, and between the two of them, um, very expert storytelling for sure. Again, this is one of the most fascinating people we've ever heard of. What was the motivation, do you think? That I hate to speculate on. Okay. I think that investigators, because this person's still alive, if there is a connection, will be able to give them a lot more information as to why this may have been done. Because many times they, they do these types of things because in their warped sense of the world, they want to show how smart they are. Exactly. And they want to show how much ahead of the police and the public they are. Well, and to keep, and all writers dream of keeping a million people on the edge of their seats, and these people apparently did this. Even if this person is guilty or uh, the person who wrote the letters was guilty of some of these murders, they still managed to keep everybody on the edge of their seats for over 40 years now. Yeah, for a long time, one name was brought up. It was Arthur Lee Allen. He died back in 1992. He was a primary suspect, but, you know, he cleared all of the charges. I mean, not, there weren't even charges, all of the investigation. Well, I think that um, if there was no Zodiac killer, if my theory is correct, then any suspect who was the, suspected of being the Zodiac killer couldn't have been. Yeah. Now, this person may have turned out to be connected to at least one murder. That's true. But handprinting, fingerprints, and Saliva. DNA, yeah. right, all cleared Mr. Allen. Um, it does seem as though he liked people to think he was a Zodiac suspect. And who knows? he may still have had some connection with some of the killings. Hopefully this information will at least clear up some of the mystery and help bring some kind of justice to these victims and their families. You will keep us posted. Absolutely. All right, let us know what the investigators say. I certainly because will. Because this case is still open. Definitely. Since 1968, hmm. the early Definitely. 70s. How about that? Thank you so much, Professor. Thank Appreciate you, John. Thomas uh, Horn joining us this morning from UM St. Louis.